to Dublin now and at this venue we were shown the magnificent coloured picture. Our next port of call was UCD in Ellsford Terrace. Kevin of course was a student at University College Dublin. We were allowed inside and we were given full permission to film the beautiful stained glass window to his memory in the room known as the Kevin Barry room. Here in this window can be seen all the different episodes in his life. Many of the faces there can be recognised. Pierce, Junkus, Connolly, and many others. Now, in another street in Dublin, we saw this plaque. Yes, this is the corner, Church Street corner and North King Street, where the bakery stands, at least it did stand. Yes, the bakery where the British soldiers would draw their bread ration. And it was here that they, it was intended to capture the rifles and ammunition. Here in the corner, this woman, who was present at, on that occasion, is showing ex the exact spot where Kevin was captured. The bakery, of course, has been knocked down now. And so before it finally vanished, we ourselves were able to clean up the plaque so that we could read it. The whole lot, of course, today has been levelled by the bulldozer. Now, our next venue was the Richmond Barracks, which is just up opposite to St. Brandon's Hospital, or Grange Gorman, as we know it. This is where we believed Kevin Barry was imprisoned after his capture. There's the doorway. Inside in the room, as much of it as we could film. The window looking in. And what we believed was the only view of this outside world that he had. But later we learned that we were on the wrong track. That in reality, he was brought into this doorway in North Brundig Street, next door to the Regina Chaley Hostel. And he was brought up those steps and in through that doorway. Up these steps he walked, and we were lucky to capture these because now it had all vanished. Up to the top of the steps, where further progress was by means of a ladder. And he was shoved up into the attic there. It can be plainly seen. Next, we had a journey to this establishment, Mountjoy Jail. In through this door, he was brought eventually. We got permission from the government and the governor of Mountjoy Jail to go right inside to film his grave in this quiet little corner of the jail. There are many other graves there. Some of the men who were captured in what is known as the Not Long Rescue. Another man who refused to go out with the other three men from Kilmainham Jail. He also lies here. And Kevin has a grave on his own. Kevin Barry's mother, when she was alive, she was asked, how about getting the remains moved to up to Glasnevin? And she just said, I'll let him rest in peace. Now that she is dead, he will rest in peace there forevermore. <laughs>